They probably hopefully think this is Collected Company. Didn't play around it. That's the main phase of this. We hit a Lord, they're dead. They are very dead. Very dead. Bam, bam, bam. The game opponent. How's it going, y'all? Titan Smash MTG here, and today we're back at it with some more historic action. This time we're taking on a deck that I think is going to be a really fun one here. This is Bant Collected Company Spirits. Now, if any of you weren't around in Amonkhet, don't worry, because the Collected Company wasn't around in Amonkhet either. Uh, but it's been added to this set. For anybody who doesn't know the card, the namesake of the deck, 4 mana, instant speed, 3 and a green. Look at the top 6 cards of your library. Put up to 2 creature cards from among them into the battlefield under your control, as long as you have command converted mana cost 3 or less. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. So, basically what we're doing to this is playing Spirits. This is the only green card we have, which is a little bit spooky. Uh, we're running... Uh, Four Breeding Pool, two Temple Garden, and this doesn't show the... I don't know why it doesn't show all these sometimes, but there's four Henneland Harbors here as well. Um, so yeah, basically what we're doing is we're playing a ton of Spirits here. So we have some Spectral Sailor, uh, Remorseful, Remorseful Cleric, because the two of is pretty nice just to be able to sacrifice it and exile all cards from a graveyard, so all the Euro shenanigans and things like that. Ghostly Pilferer is a four of here, two mana, two one, flying Spirit Rogue. Actually, sorry, it doesn't fly. Uh, whenever it comes untapped, you may pay two if you do draw a card. When an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, draw a card. And you can discard a card and it can't be blocked for the turn. So just a way to get some evasion in there, get some damage in. Uh, four of Rattle Chain, this was a huge card back when it was on standard. Uh, two mana, two, one, Flash Flyer, already pretty decent on itself. So, uh, when it enters the battlefield, target spirit gains hexproof in the end of turn. And you may cast spirits as though they had flash. And the neat little thing here is now that Kira, Great Gla uh, Glass Spinner is in Historic. Uh, going from Rattle Chain to protect your one drop perhaps. And then the next card, next turn, somebody else tries to kill another spirit. You flash in Kira, they, you auto, they automatically have to counter that spell now. And then from there, you're just building that board up and doing some really mean things. Uh, Supreme Phantom is the lord for the um, spirits here. Shackle guys, 2 mana, 2-2 two, two flyer. Can only block creatures with a flyer, but we're trying to be the aggressive deck in this one. And you can tap 2 untapped spirits you control to tap a target creature. At the 3-drop slot, we have the Kira that we've already talked about. Empyrean Eagle, the 3-drop the uh, lord that we already know of. And finally... Uh, whole play set of Nebgas Herald, Flash Flying when it enters the battlefield under your control, or another spirit enters the battlefield under your control, which is huge. Um, tap a target creature and opponent controls. So basically, we're just playing a bunch of value spirits here, trying to hit some off collect a company at end step, and then swing in. We have the one of Rally of the Wings as a finisher here, just an extra card to kind of finish the game out there. Sideboard wise here, four, four sales, blah, 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 four spell pierce, two unsummon, two glass casket, three aether gusts. Two Disdainful Stroke, and two Settled the Wreckage. And Settled the Wreckage actually works good in this deck because a lot of times at four mana, you're always holding up that four mana anyways. So it's one of those things where they probably expect you to have Collected Company and have to attack into it, and then you just settle it and settle that score. But hey, let's take this into ranked. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. All right, game number one here against Fumi Ziton. Let's see how it goes. Start out here on the draw. Opener here is a tad slow, but we got some good cards on hand. We'll keep this. Uh, Shackle guys, and it's a double eagle. If we hit that fourth land, we can Coco. Or we can just eagle again. So, see how it goes. That's a red source. Okay, Empyrean Eagle dot deck is ready for action, apparently. Let's play this Temple Garden here and get shocked. Pawns down to five cards already. Reminop Ruins. Well, we'll play the Shackle Geist out here. If they want to do something to it, they can. The hope here is we're able to play enough Eagles that we can just go bigger than them. Okay, once again, that's a shock, but it's not a shock hit in our face. It's a miss land. Let's go ahead and play an Eagle. Probably watch it get Lightning Striked. But again, we're just going to keep forcing stuff at them. Alright, well... That is seven, three, four, five, six, seven points of burn damage. It did not hit our face. So that's pretty good. I think I collect a company here. I think I collect a company here, especially with that draw, because then next turn, no matter what, I can Supreme Phantom and Eagle. So let's just pass the turn for now. Hazaret gets to attack here. Brutal. Very good, Mono Red. Very good. So here we will take... 
So maybe I should have done this before. We'll take Akira. I think a Rattle Chain is probably the play. Actually, the Nevgas Herald is probably just better, right? The Rattle Chain lets you flash things, which is good, too. Hmm. I think it's Rattle Chain so we can flash creatures. No blocks here. It's a little rough, but we can make things happen. Okay. So we're going to shock in a little bit, which is playing a very dangerous game. This is rough because we only get a bunch of damage in, but it's spooky, you know? So here, if I swing for here and get down to 15, and then the next turn play Eagle, I can do 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which is be enough. So I think I can just play with the just attack here. Or sorry, just attack with this rattle chains. I'm probably gonna have to like block here. Oh, you can't attack now with that, can you? You done goofed. Okay, well now I think we're in a great spot. Um that's four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, we got this in the bag now. Unless they just have, like, yeah. Good game there. Our creature's bigger than theirs. That's the one bad side of Hazaret sometimes when that kind of thing happens to you. So against them, I think some Settle the Wreckage is good and some Aether Gust is good. Settle, we can hold up on the same turns we collect a company, so that's nice. And Aether Gust is just a good card against them. Uh, as far as what we want out here, Remorseful Cleric doesn't really do much against them. So Pilfer can actually be kind of insane in these places because they bring in, if they have a Bone Crusher Giant they cast from Adventure, or if they play Experimental Frenzy, then we draw a card anytime they cast a spell, which is kind of wild. So I think we'll take out, maybe it's just, Spectral Sailor doesn't do anything, so let's actually take that out. I'll even take one more out. You don't want to sideboard too many things out in this matchup, but sometimes it's alright. And I think we're gonna, we probably won't unsummon here over Glass Casket. Let's run this ad and see how it goes. So game two against Fumi Ziton. Let's see how it works out for us this time. Uh, it's a fair opener. We don't have any of our big payoff cards here, but we have Aether Gust and Ghosty Pilfer, three lands that all come in the way we need them to. Four lands that come in the way we need them to. Let's go ahead and play this Breeding Pool for now and pass the turn. I would love these keep on holding up removal would be great. Soul Scar Mage, okay. Um, so I don't know many things I want to put on top of the library right now, so I think I just play this Shacklegeist. If they want to spend removal on it and kill it, they're welcome to. Chain Whirler. Chain Whirler is annoying because that makes it a 1-1. One, one. Settle's not a bad draw at all. Um, so I think for now we, we're playing Kira. That way things that target our creatures cost a little bit more. I'll go ahead and attack in for one here. This thing's not going to be blocking anyways. Next turn, it looks like we're probably going to be holding up Settle the Wreckage, which could be pretty nice. Another Chain Whirler. Goodbye, Shacklegeist. Opponent's doing the things. So I got to shock in this Temple Garden. Um, I think we try to bait him into it, honestly. Attack for one and go from here. They probably hopefully think this is Collected Company. Didn't play around it. This is where Settler Wreckage is really good in this kind of deck because it's a deck where you're going to be holding up that mana anyways. So they can go get them some mountains. That gets countered, so thank you for that. Thank you for not reading the card, opponent. Oops. I could give him the old oops right now, but we're going to be nicer than that. Uh, but you love to see it. And I think from here we just play out all of our stuff, and then hold up on summon. 
What if they try to shock this again? Like, how funny would that be? You're so bad at this opponent! That deserves an oops there. We gotta, we gotta give him the oops, because that is terrible. What are you doing? Fumi Zatan, learn to read the cards. They got 8 mana, so they got plenty of mana to do something here. Boy, oh boy. That's kind of great, though. Thank you, Kira, the great glass spinner. Good first game there. You notice we're in the uh, odds here. Earlier today, I'm sure if y'all saw the release here, you could only play best of one because best of three had your cards is illegal. So, fun times. But, hey, good first game there. Let's try to play another. All right, game number two against Heart Work. It's hard work making heart work. We'll be on the draw. And this is actually this is a pretty spicy hand here. You'd love to see it. Do 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 do. You'd love to see these hands again, my friend. Let's spectral sailor. Let's watch this puppy probably get shocked. Let's play this. Play a sub not just a regular phantom. Now this is a supreme phantom. So if we're going to shock, they can still do it now, anyways. Not happening. Maybe an omen of... Oh, nothing. Okay. Okay, well now they gotta have something, right? Show me what you got. I don't like what you got. And we played the eagle there because it's next turn we have two different two drops we can play. So just be a little bit more mana efficient, huh? Here... Let's try to get this countered first, right? Yeah, let's try to get this countered first. Hey, a syncopate. If anybody plays that card for some reason, that's bad. Okay, well, flame sweep to kill one of my creatures is not the worst thing in the world. Now all the things have four butts. Big booties. Okay, we're drawing nothing but lands. Um, we play into settle here, right? Like, we gotta just go for it. I don't know, this is... Maybe I just swing the Shacklegeist. Then we play this tap past the turn. We don't play a lot. We play, like, 22, maybe 23 lands in this deck, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of our first 12 draws in the lands. A little over half. They bottom two there, which is good. Neve Mizit Dadi. It's not a terrible draw there. Man, I should have swung off last turn. That's unfortunate. Do we swing here? Get them down to one. Um... So let's tap. Tap you, and tap you. And then we'll play this up y'all. Let's hope they don't combo us here. If they have curiosity, we're just dead. Only two cards in hand though, and they've got it. If that last card is an instant or sorcery spell, then maybe we get lucky. We'll put in some, probably some spell pierces in here. I think that's about it. Unsummon we could, but I don't want to have that in here. As far as what we take out here. Another one where Cleric just doesn't really do a whole lot. This doesn't seem like a Rally of Wings matchup either. And Kira seems great here. I think we do it like that. Let's see how this goes. So game two against Heartwork, um, I, I played around Settle the Wreckage when we didn't have two and it cost us there, so that's that's on me. Now we know what the deck is though. Uh, this hand seems pretty lit though. No white source, which is kind of odd, but... Don't think I want to hold up Spell Pierce here, don't think I really care that much about it, so... Just play this tap for now, pass the turn. Right on time is the Sailor. We can hold up Spell Pierce and Spectral Sailor now, which is kind of neat. They either have a Shock or an Opt.
Um, so I think I'm actually more interested. Let's, let's go to attacks first. I think we play Kira here now because if they have a shock, they would need to use it now in response. But they could just have flame sweep, and that would suck. So it's sensor. Okay. If we can not get flame swept here, we'll feel great. Okay. Let's go. We're doing it. That's not a land. That's not a bad draw, though, because now we can do this. Hold up Spell Pierce. They got another one. Let's go. That's five damage. Still need to get... A fourth land here, especially a white source. God, we just can't draw the lands right now. Unfortunate. Let's, uh... Go to attacks first. Okay, so that's pretty good for them. I think we... I guess we'll play Pilfer. This is sucks we're not hitting the Lancer, otherwise they'd be like mega dead right now. Now we're super weak to Flame Sweep. Untap land, please! Please! Congrats, opponent, for not being good and just being lucky. I think we gotta do this now, since they've only got one mana open. Yikes. Not the best of hits. Still no white source. This is a rough way to lose this one if we lose it, which it looks like we're going to. Another Coco off the top could get us the win, though. sake where are our lands all right well we'll not give up quite yet but definitely definitely annoying pass the turn i guess super frustrating Step. We'll tap this. Three, six, seven, eight is almost lethal if we get a white source. Um, yeah. I mean, it still happens. Look, there's a white source, y'all. Jesus. I guess we'll shock this in. Play the eagle. Play you. Then we do this, tap this by tapping you and you, swing for five, and then they drop a land, niv a curiosity, and we go home pissed. Sphinx to Revelation, so they'll gain some life there and draw some cards, but we do have outs here. Um, I think I do this, right? If I draw a Coco here, it'll be very upsetting, but I think we do this. Good draw. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Supreme Phantom. Shackle guys. So let's uh do this. Tap you. And what can't really attack in here? Well, everything pretty much can, right? They're still dead. Yeah, they're still dead. I was about to scoop there, but we... Oh, no, they're not dead yet. No, 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 they're at one. Dying it. Come on, game. I deserve this. Don't let the person playing Sphinx's Revelation win. Okay, that's not awful. If you just play this, then I feel good. 
All right, we got there, baby. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go to game three. So let's look at their deck more now. We got sent. They got a bunch of counter spells, flame sweep. So we definitely still want those. I mean, gosh, they don't. I wonder if they took out their Niv Mizzet altogether. Um, I mean, I think I still like most of what we got here, right? I can't imagine wanting any of this other stuff. Maybe Disdainful Stroke. But otherwise, on the draw, this is too slow. So, well, let's get it. <coughs> so, game number three against Heartwork. We, we grinded that one out after missing land after land after land. On the draw, uh, this is a solid hand. It's uh, a little bit light on land, but we are on the draw, so we have a good chance to, to you know get some. Let's start off here with this. That's a collector company. We love to see that. Would like to hold on the spell pierce if I can. Let's play the sailor. If you want to kill it, you can kill it, bro. All right, so I think I attack here. Hold up, rattle chains. I could play supreme phantom. But, I think doing this is better for now. They've obviously got something, I'm just not sure what. So, I think we flash this in. See if they don't respond to this now. I'll get my rattle chains hex proof. Oof. Alright, land please. Thank you. So here, we'll play... I guess the Phantom's a little bit harder to deal with and doesn't get flame swept. Let's play this and pass the turn. Holding up Spell Pierce still, which is nice. Tap out for something. Where are the white sources? I, I, I think I put white sources in here, but I'm having a hard time seeing. Try to play Shacklegeist. At least it's a 3-3 and everything's out of Flame Sweep. Flame Sweep's like okay against this deck. Like definitely has spots. Spell Pierce does nothing here. It must be fun to hit your land drops though. First game we were like flooding on them too. Then the second game we can't hit them. And this game we can't hit them. There's that. Let's go to tax here. Crazy B. Do we do this now? I think we do this now. Try to pump, pump, pump it up. They've only got one mana open. So let's tap. And then... Rattle Chains. Right, so this gets Hexproof, I guess. Tap this. Now obviously, we're once again very weak to Flame Sweep now. But if we can get this down... Uh, or just draw a freaking white source, get both of these down. We can just put a lot of pressure in the air. Nip miss it. Annoying. So it looks like they didn't take that out. Luckily, we have spell pierce. There's my white source I needed. So I think we're actually playing the phantom. Playing this. Tapping this. But it sucks because we have the spell pierce. But if they have curiosity, like we can't counter it right now. Though they're pointing at our face, that means maybe we actually have a chance here. Do something big. Uh, um. Tap the Niv. This kills everything. We've lost, my friends. Now, to keep in mind, once again, we have only lost because we didn't hit our land drops. I think we absolutely had these people murdered, but the Mana Gods were not seeing it, so it is what it is. Good game, opponent. One of one, the Spirits. I'm going to play one more. Let's see if we can draw our actual lands this time and maybe play some real games of Magic. Alright, last game of the day here is the Olsen Nation. I didn't know the Olsen Twins played Magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll take the play. Uh, can't keep this with the check lands. It's unfortunate. This one we can. It's awkward. I 
think we bought him a land here. Just so we'll shotgun here, hold up Spectral Sailor. Knight of the Ebon Legion, okay. Not sure what we're playing against yet, but this should be interesting. Rattle Chains ain't a bad pickup. So, let's get the swing in here. Fast turn. I could block that and trade, but I don't want to. Jund. Let's go ahead and do this now. I guess we gotta ditch a collective company because I can't. I gotta hit the lands too. Okay, well, that was a great draw. If we can avoid them having any more uh, Kroxa and we hit our land drops, again, famous last words, uh, we'll see what we can do here. This is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage in the air, 8, 9, 10 with another Lord. Um, I could force this block, but I don't think it's really worth it. Murder Strider? Uh, was that an accident, my friend? That's the main phase of this. We hit a Lord, they're dead. They are very dead. Very dead. Bam, bam, bam. Good game, opponent. I'm not sure if they actually meant to play that Murder Strider there or not. That seems like an odd play to me. Um, so against them, Unsummon's really good against Knight of the Evan Legion. Such if you can, like, force them to block and then just blow them up that way. Uh, what else do we want here? Glass Cask is interesting, but I don't really know enough of what they're trying to do. Um, so I think we just leave it at these two. Don't really sideboard too hard against this one. Uh, Kira still seems great here. Remorseful Cleric exiling stuff from their graveyard with uh, uh, Crooks in play seems fine. Uh, on the draw, I don't think I want Rally here. I think probably just maybe a Spectral Sailor. Uh, let's, let's get rid of the Pilfer. Let's go with this. Alright, game two against the Olsen Twins. Let's see if we can't take him down. Finish the thing off 2-1. Bounce spirits. Um, yeah. This is a beat down hand if I've ever seen one. Because that's why we play spirits after all, is to beat down. Uh, oops. Why, why'd I play that now? Like, why? What, what is... What is wrong with me, basically? Thought sees. Take my eagle. Kira actually seems insane here too, since I'm assuming most of the removal is targeted removal. I don't think a, a deck with actual creatures like that would play board wipes, but maybe I could be wrong. I think Supreme Phantom is probably the take here. Kira, okay. Uh, yeah, I think I think the play here is still the Phantom. Swing two. Look, we already got down to sixteen. The beats are real. Okay, opponent couldn't stop it. Hey, we'll take that, son. Uh, so two and one, back one, two ticks up from where we started. Uh, let's take a look at this deck list one more time. So two and one overall here with Bant Spirits. Uh, pretty impressive showing by it, I think. And it could have been three and zero. Oh. I think I may have made them. When I played around that Stellar Wreckage of game two, that could have been a three zero oh there for us, I believe. But just missing land drops from back to back games there also hurt us. Uh, but hey, two ones, nothing to scoff at. I think this deck has potential. Um, I'm sure there's some ways to get some of these numbers right on some of these cards. Uh, but I, I like what it's got overall as a package. Having two different lords in this deck that you can hit off collective company means that out of nowhere you can just kill somebody with a good hit. As we saw in the one game there. Um, and some of the versatility here by having Kira. Like, all your all the target removal gets countered. Uh, you start tapping things when spirit enters. Uh, things get hexproof when spirit... Like, just so much versatility and things you can really do here. Even Shackle Guys, we got that... Or no, Shackle Guys actually did a lot of work too. Get the tap stuff down was huge. But Ghostly Pilfer was one that I was just... You know, I figured it was kind of in here just because it's a spirit. We have to add something. But we got to do some things, so it's pretty cool. So overall, fan of the deck. I had a lot of fun playing it. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, we'll be doing... You know, we're still standards are main bread and butter here. Titan Smash MTG for sure. But Historic is so fun right now, so I know my views suffer when I put up these Historic videos, so if you're watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because um, I really do enjoy making this content. I'd love to do more if people would watch it. Uh, thank you all for watching. Appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. Let's go!